Hey everyone, this is the Purple Mage, and this is System Showcase 1 or System Test 3. I have started calling System Tests System Showcases, uh, mostly because everybody, everybody else calls their um, system video system tests, and I decided to be different. So this is going to be System Showcase number 1. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a last like system video. And since then, basically nothing has changed. Every device is still the same as last time. So we've got the 439D here, the LNG1 here, uh, the uh, NBG12L here, and the MPS950 here and the Simplex 2901-9723. So all the devices are still the same except for two. I mean, one. 2280 is still up, but it's not hooked up to anything anymore. It's powered down, all that kind of stuff. And that's because I have a new panel now. This is an EST IO-1000 in a very big cabinet. I think this is a retrofit cabinet. This is a pretty new panel. I don't know why it was removed, because it works perfectly fine. A uh, funny story about this panel is that it was actually uh, water damaged. when I um, So I wired it up and everything, and then a couple days later, this pipe leaked onto it. Which is why I have this towel here, so it doesn't happen again. And it got onto the back of the CPU and ruined it. Until a friend of mine helped me clean it with isopropyl alcohol, so now it works just as new. As you can see, I have a system normal screen. And it's perfect. It's I've got some monitor modules down here. There's only three of them hooked up, but there's a fourth one there for a future expansion. If a future expansion were to happen. And we open up the lower door. Come on. There we go. I've got some resistor covers down there, which I'm not using, and a, and a battery jumper, because which I'm not using because I'm using this one here. Uh, here's the batteries on a shelf. And yes, I have batteries now. And you may be wondering why I'm doing a system showcase if I have no new devices. Well, I don't actually have no new devices. Here's a new one. Uh, this is a, uh, um, sorry, this is an EST uh, Sega PD. And I will not be testing this today because it requires smoke to test. However, I do have a little gimmick on this system. For, me, for those of you who may not know, this panel actually has a feature on it called Coder. And that feature allows you to do custom codes for each device. So basically a coded pull station. And that's what I have set up now. So each pull station corresponds to each different code. And I'm sure you probably know how a coded pull station works, but in case you don't, in, uh, in the 60s, when a, when a large building was constructed and they didn't have addressable systems, they would use something called coded pull stations. And each pull station would have a code. For example, um, 311. So it would... Um, so when the pull station was pulled, you'd wind up a spring... So when you pulled it, it would like you'd have to pull it and then let go, and it would wind up a spring, which then uh, started up a code wheel, which was basically a gear with some teeth on it. And then when that that wheel would basically touch a would basically touch a piece of metal to another piece of metal, and that would complete a circuit. And uh, when the circuit was completed, it would do a certain code. For example, three one one. So how it would sound, it would do. So the bell would do one two three, one one, and then the People would count that, and uh, after that's and after the and the pull station would do four rounds of that, and after that the pull station would just stop, and then if it ha and then the panel would uh, put the would put the bells into continuous. So, but I don't have uh, it set up to do that. I have it set up to just silence itself after that. So, um, this is a similar setup. And uh, each pulse station has their own separate code, as I said. 
and uh, that code will do four rounds, and then it'll silence itself. So without further ado, here we go. And I think this pulse station is 242, if I remember correctly. So here we go. So you can see 242, and that'll do four rounds of that. Quickly go upstairs before the four rounds end. And I think that's the four rounds, unless there's one more round. Nope, sounds like that was four rounds. So now we're free to reset. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that you cannot silence during the four rounds. So the silence button will just not work. Let's do a reset. This panel takes a little bit to reset. You can see I've labeled all the pull stations. So this one says uh, pull station, boiler, and pull. And the 001 means the, uh, the alarm that it was. And it's reset, perfect. And I do not have the correct date and time. Whoops. Okay. What should we do next? Let's do this one. I think this one is 231. So, here we go. That was so much louder than the one upstairs. <laughs> this bell is actually pretty quiet. Okay, that should be the four rounds now. Set. This is the west basement pull, alarms one. Now, I, as I said, I'm not going to test this smoke detector today because it requires smoke and I don't have any fake smoke, so I would need to actually use actual smoke, which I don't want to do right now. And also this thing does take a long time to activate, even though I have it set to uh, the, uh, the most sensitive. And also no verification, so I don't know why it takes so long. And I forgot to reset the pulse stations. That's another cool feature about this panel, is that if you forget to reset the pulse station, it doesn't go back into alarm, it just doesn't reset. So... I have like like seven EST keys. I have three on that key ring, one here, and a couple somewhere else. Okay, reset. Now, for real. You see, I've moved all the wiring. This was a big pain because this panel is too big 
to mount here because of this pipe. Perfect, reset. Now let's do one last pull station and then we'll call it a video. I might do a tutorial on how to program that panel because I don't think anyone else has. All right, here we go. Forgot to mention this pull station has code 114. And you can set the codes to whatever you want. Okay, I think that's the third round. Okay, now it's done and we can, re and we can reset. Set. Here's my uh, railroad crossing lights. I have them hooked up to a relay now. And uh, the Western Cullen Hayes mechanical bell. There we go, and it's reset. Now I'll deep dive into this panel a little bit further, but that would uh, require, like, to do a program tutorial would have to require me erasing all this programming and uh, redoing everything, which doesn't actually take that long on this panel, but I don't really want to do that right now. So. Yeah, this has been System Showcase 1, a.k.a. System Test 3. So, see you guys later, I guess? That was a terrible outro. I don't know.